All right. Okay, we're fixing to do a painting based on Mary Dutton's um, painting, Silent Night. Uh, I don't know how much like hers it'll come out to be. I have a couple of extra ideas I don't want to add to it, but we'll see. We'll see as we go. So we're just putting on some liquid white here. I just stirred it up, so I slung some on the canvas here. We're going to use pretty much the same color palette that Maz used, but we're going to um, put a few extra things into. And I'll probably change up the tree arrangement, but we'll see. We'll see. Slightly different, slightly different comp composition in mind, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm also kind of experimenting with this liquid white. It's been acting kind of weird, and I'm wondering if it's just gotten too old. I haven't been using a lot, much liquid white lately, so I think it's dried out a little bit. So I've added some linseed oil to it. A couple of weeks ago. We'll see if that if that helps it. It's drying way, 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 way too fast. I'm pretty sure that's that's what was the problem. We'll see. Well, I don't know if we'll see. We'll see if what I did to it will help it. <laughs> that's what we'll do. It feels better than it did the last time I did it, but we'll see. We'll see how it behaves as we go. Alright, we're not going to clean the brush here. We're going to start off with a little bit of titanium white. We're going to do some puddle painting over here and some cerulean blue a little more cerulean blue all right now we get a little bit more white okay all right and then we're going to add some more cerulean blue to that This, she did it with a flat brush, and I might be making a mistake by not doing it with a flat brush, but we'll see. All right, now let's just go with, let's see. Um, I'm going to switch brushes. No, maybe I'll just clean this brush. Let's clean this brush. Sort of contaminated, it's really in blue. This is I'm using a a variety of different um, brands on this particular thing. And I don't know. We'll see how they mesh up before they're done. I'm going to switch now. I'm going to switch to a flat, a smaller flat. I don't think I have a bigger one. No. All right. Yeah. 
I don't think that's going to be dark enough. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So let's go to some Prussian blue. Now Prussian blue, this Prussian blue is going to be darker than what I have on there. So let's add a little bit more. It's a little, building up a little faster than what I had hoped, but that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm picking up paint, as you can see, as we go. Kind of taking my time with this. I'm not really too big a hurry. Not in too big a hurry. I'm not going to worry about this down here because it's going to kind of work its way out into the. I'm just taking the paint off of the brush here. There's way too much liquid white on this canvas, but we're gonna go. We're gonna keep working with it. We'll be all right. We'll get done with this section, though. We'll wipe a little bit off of the bottom. Maybe we'll see. Now, we're going to want to, if this works out, we're going to want to really blend this a lot. So, it'll take us a while. to be a little darker. So let's get straight cerulean blue here. Add that here. Alright, now we can 
Now let's see if we can blend it the way we want it. Okay, I know it looks a little rough now, but bear with me, bear with me. So now you can use an X stroke. I'm going to use sort of a, a twirly stroke. But if you're more comfortable doing the X stroke, then do that. see me switch back and forth switch hands because I have managed to tear both of my rotator cuffs so I need to pay the price for both of those darker colors until I'm really to actually ready to bring them in. Which will be next, but and here we go. Now that dioxazine purple. It's extremely powerful. You gotta really be careful with that stuff. Try to curve this a little bit more, a little more than it was. We'll find out here, but I think this boxazine could actually overpower this ivory black here. It's so powerful. It's a Gamblin 1980 dioxazine purple. Is that right? I don't think that's not right, is it? No. I have some of that, but that's not what I used though today. I used. Alright, let's see what this is. M. Grimm and Co. Dioxazine purple. There's some potent stuff. all the thinner out of it. Get the paint off my hands. So we're going to get some baby wipes out here in a second. Alright, we're going to blend this a little bit more. Barely touching it. Now, if you like that kind of a cloudy, cloud building look, keep it, then just, just do that. Your painting, do what you want to do. I'm taking quite a few liberties here already. <laughs> Maz is painting, but I'm sure she'd tell me the same thing. All right. Somehow I managed to get paint 
put it back in that brush as fast as I clean it off. Now we're going to stick to this color scheme, pretty much. Oh, I see I got it on my hands, and that's how I got it on the brush. All right. Good enough. We'll get that off. So let's take a moment. Get out my infamous baby wipes. Now we could try to push that blue further over into that dioxazine purple, but no, I don't think we really need to do that. But I'll tell you what we are gonna do. Take some paper towels. And we're gonna take some of this liquid white off. I was worried about it drying. And in doing so, I made it a little too thick. And this is not gonna hurt anything. It's just doing this. I was worried it was gonna dry like it did last time, but it did not. So I guess my little mixture of linseed oil worked pretty well. I gotta clean my hands again. <laughs> As you can see. Oh my gosh. All right. Now, if you don't, there's lots of ways to do this. You can paint the whole thing blue and just put the moon up there and build out the, um, the highlight in a different way. You know, just by using X strokes and, and stretching it out, or you know, whatever you want to do. Hers in her painting, it's there's a lot of, a lot of circles, and yeah. I mean, it gave me some ideas, but it wasn't what I, it was exactly how I wanted to do it. So, okay, let's put this away for now. Put this liquid white away. We'll use it again before we're done, but for now, we can put it away. Let's get a fan brush. Let's use this little number. What is this number? It's probably number six. And let's get some mm, some of this blue. Some of this blue. And I think maybe let's let's add a little loser and crimson to the, the palette as well. I don't need a lot, but enough to. I'm just going to use this to gray some of this stuff out. All right, let's add a little bit of that to this. And then let's also add some titanium white. Let's see what we got here. Now, I'm going to stomp, these, stomp this brush in and get those Get those bristles open. Mm, not dark enough, I guess. I don't want too much of a change because this stuff's going to be way off in the background. And again, we're going back over that excess liquid white there a little bit, so. And we'll use all of that color in a minute. And mix it here on the brush. some of that purple going here as we go so that's okay 
That's okay. Tell you what, the, let's add a little bit of white to that. Take the same color. Let's darken it some. And put another. Well, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's just this little round brush here. And create a little bit of a background. adding another row of trees and here's what we're doing in case you're wondering where we're going with this maybe even a third row of trees Use this fog. Let me just paint over it. We'll find out here in a second. We'll decide in a second. Okay, that looks pretty good. I need some more paint though. Can't paint without paint. going to start adding the snow. We sort of indicated with our trees a little hillside kind of a thing right here. So we'll, do, we'll deal with that slope first. But I'm going to switch to a one inch brush. This one. We're going to pick up some Prussian blue. Now, when you bring your um, hills down, when you bring your slopes down, make sure that you always end with a horizontal stroke. If you don't, if you kind of curve it down, it's going to look kind of weird. Let's go back to the cerulean blue, and let's not forget Maz's path here. She gave it she had sort of a path that kind of came in and curved around. 
I don't think it kind of it went exactly like that, but it went kind of like that. Blend that some. We'll do a little bit more. I'm letting the rest of this set up just a little bit. I got a little bit more I want to do up there, but not, not a lot. Let's put some. Let's smooth this some. There's a couple of things up here that are kind of bugging me a little bit as I'm looking at it. So I don't like this little cloud swirl right here. So I'm going to just put the brush halfway between these two lines and just kind of Let's do a few things with the trees. So I said we'd be getting the liquid white back out. So here we are about to do it. Picking up a fan brush. I gotta use one of these little shorties. Again, I'm gonna open these bristles up. And then kind of just touching, touching, touching. And if it start, if it doesn't stick for whatever reason like maybe your paint's too thick or whatever don't don't press harder because that's not going to fix it just add a little bit of linseed oil to it and then go with it and it's not all that important that these highlights stay right where you had their trees Gonna add a few little bushy bush things. I like I can just pick this up this way. So don't think 
that Maz did this way because she, she didn't. We've kind of varied off the path now, so if you want to paint it just like her, then you need to switch over to her video. And I recommend it. it she's, she's awesome. She's freaking really awesome. I want to do that, but I want to do it with something different. You don't want it to make that little dimple. So wipe your finger back off and do it again. Alright, that'll work. That'll do. Alright, let's start adding some regular, regular trees. Uh, let's see. So let's, I'm using a glass palette, so let's clean that off real quick. Do that with a baby wipe. Just to clean up a little, a little, a little uh, palette maintenance here, management. As you can see, it's, it's pretty easy to do that with glass. snow this way is not so hard I mean you got just have right now we have more shadows than we have um, this blue more shadows than other things but it's okay the, the human eye will will see it a little bit differently all right so let's mix up a good tree color let's take some black there's some of that this is so I don't need to put okay I don't need to put any more palette so let's just mix what we got and then see what we need. I regret those are in crimson. I don't think I want the purple in here, so we're gonna pick up some um, Prussian blue. That should give us a nice dark color to work with for trees. Alright, let's mix it up. I could mix it on the brush, but since I'm going to make several trees, um, I just I want the color to be can, pretty much consistent. I don't, I don't guess it'll be completely consistent, but close enough. Alright. Collect the paint off my knife and wipe the knife clean. So let's let's get started. Oh, 
you know what? Let's change that a little bit. So let's make it a little bit taller. And let's, instead of the branches going down, let's have the branches going up. Like that. It's a little different than most of Bob Ross's trees, but it's okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's do another one. I want a little air on that tree so it's not going to be quite as dark as as far as see through. I mean, we can put some more to do with it on it in a minute, but and let's put the other one over here closer to the moon. Let's make it almost to the moon tall. Tell you what, let me pull this brush. I'm trying to pull it thin. So let me show you this in a second. So we're pulling the edge as thin as I can pull it to try to when I when I cut my edge down the page that it's it's pretty thin. You want that center to be nice and dark, so when you start putting your highlights on, did it? But at the same time, you want the edges to be uneven, so you got you, know, you got places for your birds to live up in there. go down a little bit farther than that other tree. All right, now let me just kind of darken up some of this in the middle. A little bit more like that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's clean the brush. Yeah, we got a lot of paint on here. We got a lot of paint, and so the paint's going to get a little harder to stick this time. But we're going to start off just with titanium white. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's not, let's do the reverse shadow first. So we're going to take some cerulean blue. That's what we started off with. So let's take that. Let's take some titanium white and make some of that a little bit more. All right, and then let's take some liquid white. And then maybe some more cerulean blue. Mm. And then we'll gray it just a little bit. And in some places you want to go past halfway. You know, it. you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Tell you what, though, I want, well, that might work okay. Okay, so now the reverse highlight on these trees will be on the run on the opposite side. And we're just barely tapping this. But see, don't go straight down the middle, because if you do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look kind of wonky. So don't do that. Alright, 
clean the brush again because we're going to move up to a lighter color. I'm going to work with the straight with the white this time. And then I think we're going to let this sit. We'll start working on another painting, but and we'll kind of come back when this is dry and put some additional things into the picture. It's coming along pretty good though. I'm kind of liking it. Don't get too carried away with your highlight. Get too carried away, it's going to look kind of gaudy. So don't, don't get too carried away. And I'm just going to wipe. You'll see here I picked up color. I, I picked up color on the first side, and I picked up less color on the other side. But I did pick some up, as you can see there. So... Let me kind of add that. I think it'll be okay. If not, I'll clean the brush off and start over. All right. Okay, let's clean this brush. We're going to put some other little things in here. Now, before we start putting bushes and things like that, we want to add some of this moon shadow to it. So we're going to kind of Pull some of this, a little bit of this color out this way. We can actually pick some of that color up over here. Not have to take away from the tree. Except we're going to get it by the tree. There we go. Clean this brush, and we're going to kind of blend that just a touch, just a touch. We might start adding a little bit of snow too, but I don't know. We'll see. We're going to add some snow before we, before we additional snow before we leave. Let's just kind of there. We go. This side looks fine. I don't think I'm going to mess with it. All right. Let's add a little bit of snow to this now. Titanium white. And we may have to add a drop of linseed oil or two to this, but. It's filtering down that blue just a little bit, not too much. Plus these little um, texture pieces that come up sometimes when you paint like this. Um, May uh, give it a little extra poof. All right. All right. Let's push up some final little tree things. I can push them up with this brush, but I'm going to. I'll tell you, let's just push up with this brush. All right, that'd be good. And then I think I want to add a post.
Yeah, I don't think I'll have a sign. All right, so now, once this dries, I may change my mind as far as what I want to do. Um, but I want to add, um, I want to add a little bit more touching on the clouds, a little more highlight stuff on the clouds, um, like. Okay, I said I was gonna wait till it dried, but here I go. Making this cloud a little more irregular, just by kind of tapping it in. So we come back, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to let this dry, and then we're going to um, put some ornaments on this on this tree. I don't, we might put some ornaments on those trees, I don't know. We'll put a little bit of highlight on this stuff right here. And, uh, I don't know, we might put a couple twinkly stars in the sky, we'll see. But anyway, for now, we're going to leave it go. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a nod again, once again, to... My favorite instructor, Marian Dutton. I've been with her ever since uh, I started painting. She's been fabulous. Um, you guys should check out her channel, seriously. And check out her online school. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video.